my name is Winston Chong. I'm actually from uh, Ultimate Music, APAC Private Limited, uh, a Tencent Music uh, Entertainment uh, Company. Uh, I have, uh, today our topic uh, is going to be discussing about uh, music everywhere. All right. So what we're going to talk about is why and how to make music everywhere, especially in China, and what value will music uh, bring to smart devices. And when we talk smart devices, we're not only talking about mobile devices. We're talking about connected cars. We're also talking about uh, PC, laptops, and smart speakers. And with all this, what opportunities uh, will this development bring to the uh, entire uh, music industry? All right, so before we start the panel discussion, uh, please allow me to welcome the panelists on stage. Uh, on my left here is Mr. T.C. Pan. Uh, he is the VP of uh, TME Group, as well as the CEO and founder of uh, Ultimate Music. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Asugan, uh, who is the GM uh, of uh, One Stop Music. Uh, One Stop Music is a uh, uh, content owner, uh, music labor uh, in Malaysia itself. Uh, we have Mr. Justin Wang, uh, who is the uh, executive director of uh, product marketing uh, for smart devices uh, for Lenovo, as well as Mr. Li, Li Pu uh, from uh, the uh, Jili uh, e Katong, G, uh, Deputy GM for Internet Vehicles. All right. So uh, now let's invite each panelist to give us a brief introduction of himself and his company. Uh, I suggest we start with TC. <laughs> Thank you, Winston. Um, I don't know if uh, the audience has um, anyone who's been in uh, music, music Matters for over 10 years um, probably seen me uh, a dozen times. Um, started Music Matters as the uh, a representative of Nokia uh, back in the comes music days. And then after that, I started my own company, Ultimate Music. And uh, very fortunately, we uh, were acquired and merged by uh, Tencent Music Entertainment last year. Uh, so Ultimate Music now is a uh, business unit uh, in Tencent Music Entertainment, uh, which I'm gonna quote from now as TME. Okay, so uh, what Ultimate Music does in TME is, uh, is the same as what we started um, when we were still a, a standalone company, is the B2B uh, business. Uh, B2B uh, specialized in uh, connected devices. Uh, in the Chinese uh, market. Um, not only uh, smartphones, as well as uh, IoT devices, smart speakers, and now we are entering also into the connected cars uh, market. Um, as you know, there's a huge market of, um, of people and uh, devices and uh, business opportunities in China. Um, right now, we are looking at a market of uh, close to uh, you know, a billion a potential user base on a monthly basis. Uh, we're looking at a annual uh, potential um, volume of 400 million devices uh, sold in China. And these are all the opportunities that we can um, grasp. Um, in China right now, uh, we are working with uh, very prestigious um, brands such as uh, Huawei, uh, Vivo, Oppo, Lenovo. Uh, Geely. Uh, for Geely, uh, they have uh, ver various brands of cars such as Volvo, um, Geely, and, uh, and, and, and in other countries now they are working with, um, in Malaysia, Proton. So we're very happy to, um, to have the opportunity to work with these partners and uh, today on, on the stage to uh, discuss um, how music can be everywhere. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Asugan. Hi, good, day. good uh, afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Asugan from uh, One Stop Music, OSM Brahat, uh, which is based in Malaysia. For those who are not familiar with us, we are a similar entity like Merlin. Okay? So One Stop Music is uh, actually a One Stop License Clearing Center, which is also known as the fourth music major in Malaysia. We represent about uh, 250 independent uh, record label members as well as some publishing members. So um, we are working uh, directly with all the leading digital platforms like uh, Google, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, and now Tencent, Ultimate Music, and so on. Um, OSM is basically acts to ensure that um, we able to assist our members uh, to get um, their what? Re revenue stream is uh, enhanced 
and then uh, their rights are well protected. Um, OSM uh, commands about 22% in terms of digital music market share uh, in Malaysia as reported in IFPI. Thank you. Yes. Um, Justin? Hello, everyone. I'm Justin um, from Lenovo Group. I'm very honored to join this conference. And my job uh, in Lenovo just uh, is to make high quality audio services to everyone. Uh, and uh, this service uh, uh, enab enables it to users through all the Lenovo's devices. Uh, I'm also in charge of the smart speaker product line to better integrate them. Okay. Yeah, all right. And uh, finally, Mr. Lee. Hello, everyone. My name is Li Pu. I come from Jili Holding Group, and also we have another company named EKX. Uh, I'm the deputy GM of Jili Holding Group in the part of intelligent and connectivity cars. Uh, and now I will introduce our company named EKX. EKX is an individual operating technology company and uh, invested by Chairman Li Li Shu Fu from Jili Holding Group. We are a separate part to focus on the, all of the uh, hardware and the software and the, the operating in connected cars. Now we have the customer from uh, Volvo and uh, Geely and uh, Lincoln Co. Also in Malaysia we have Proton. Uh, our focus on the connectivity and uh, we have a cooperating uh, cooperation with the automated uh, music in China mainland, also in Malaysia, also in future we will go to the global. Uh, I in charge of all of the commercial and uh, the, the business development and the overseas projects. Uh, and uh, we think we will have the, the projects maybe in future in, the, in Singapore, maybe. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So exactly a year ago, uh, actually on this stage as well, all right, uh, we, you know, Ultimate Music as well also organized a panel discussion and the topic was getting connected, uh, music business opportunities and the internet of things. Uh, our partners from mobile devices, uh, IoT as well as connected cars, uh, all agreed that more and more devices will be connected with music which leads to a lot of opportunities. I did like to ask uh, TC uh, to share with us uh, on the market development and talk about the achievements by Ultimate Music as well as uh, by, by our partners uh, over the past year. Sure. So um, I think uh, what has um, grown uh, a lot in over, uh, in over the past year is that um, we're seeing a trend in um, music um, users' behavior is changing or shifting from, um, you know, in the past, uh, downloading an app, using an app to listen to, uh, to music, to um, using multiple different devices where an app is not um, downloaded, it's, it's there already. Uh, you turn it on, it, it connects to the internet, and, um, and, and the music plays away, okay? And uh, a lot of the user interface change from um, tapping and clicking on certain um, um, screen to um, voice control, AI uh, interaction, um, and then um, more and more recommendation from, um, you know, getting the, uh, the picture of, t you know, what the users like um, on a day-to-day -day basis, their, their interest, their hobby, their, um, their area of, um, of different interests in sports or, 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 uh, or food or uh, locations they go. These all become a part of the, um, the user picture where a lot of these um, recommendation engines and AI um, you know, get to understand more about this particular user's um, um, kind of music preference. So that's the kind of trend that we're seeing um, and shifting um, to, to that kind of direction um, over the past year. Um, we have, um, I think, started working with um, mobile device users, uh, 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 manufacturers such as uh, Huawei, Xiaomi, um, Vivo, uh, etc., Samsung as well in, in, in China, um, starting uh, in 2014. And, um, and, and gradually we're seeing um, more and more um, 
company comes, comes to us, to Alter Music, to TME, uh, who are not just mobile devices, who are uh, such as Lenovo uh, with an IoT device, which could be a speaker, could be a, a refrigerator, could be a, a, a connected TV that, um, that they all want to enable music uh, on different um, devices and on different user scenarios. So um, it is very important for us to be um, more and more open in terms of how our system works. Um, so um, for, for Ultimate Music um, in TME, we have uh, built a very uh, enhanced um, cloud of music called Tink Cloud, uh, where we enable all um, device manufacturers to connect each and every single device into the cloud uh, and enable music um, service uh, almost at an instant and also enable um, content providers to um, provide their content um, very easily and very quickly um, and then uh, enable the, the, the bridge in between uh, content owners and the device manufacturers and then for the device manufacturers are, are the users of these devices. So Tink Cloud for the past year is, uh, has grown a lot in terms of user base, in terms of the capability, how we can um, enable more and more different type of devices. For example, um, as I said, in the initial stage of Alton Music Team Cloud, we were serving mostly uh, mobile handheld devices such as Huawei, uh, Xiaomi, Vivo, etc., where users are kind of clicking and tapping and, uh, and, and finding their own music. And then now we're entering the stage where um, you know, our recommendation system, our, uh, our APIs and SDK needs to support um, more of a hand, hands-free type of experience. Uh, and also, um, you know, the IoT device could be in, in a kitchen where it's louder, so the, 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 the voice and the action is kind of, um, you know, need to, need to be more sophisticated in order to capture what the user is trying to say. All right, so all these things, and including in the car environment where it could be uh, kids crying, um, elderly talking, and all that. So how do we kind of make sure that the music experience can be easily de uh, deliver to the user and also deliver the right kind of music for the right kind of um, group of um, people in that particular environment. So um, that's what we kind of been focused on uh, for the past year is to enhance that kind of experience from, as I said, a more of a hands-on type of clicking and tapping music experience on mobile phones to a more of hands-free and voice command, voice control and a more kind of loud and, 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 and um, sure. um, chaotic type of um, environment. So, and a more, more of a multiple people kind of mix and share type of environment uh, versus back in the mobile day base where it's more of a personal one-on-one, -on -one, uh, one to the device type of experience uh, for the past, um, past year. Um, and we're also seeing a, a huge uh, 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 kind of a growth in terms of um, um, user activeness. Um, back in, in, in the mobile days, maybe we are seeing uh, a few songs of listening uh, per day, uh, but now on, on connected devices, we're, we're seeing a growth in that, um, that kind of user length of using music as well. So for that, we need to kind of um, also um, um, up our um, editorial capability so that uh, we can provide user more recommendation, uh, more um, more of a, uh, a, a longer type of, um, of, of, of music experience um, and sitting down in uh, driving the car and all that kind of different, different um, scenario. So um, it's been very excited. Um, and uh, I guess later on, I think you know, our, one, some of our partners will also uh, discuss about our other plans to expand um, this music is everywhere concept uh, outside of China as well. Uh, I won't go to in, into much detail I'll leave that to our partners to, um, to speak. Yeah. Uh, we believe, um, you know, the, the music everywhere and can music is connected by all kinds of devices is the key to, um, to, to, the, um, to the future users' um, music experience. And, uh, and the Think Cloud um, development will continue to, to evolve based on um, every type of user um, needs and every different kind of uh, connected devices. So that's, that's kind of the major um, kind of um, growth and, and, and um, difference that we've been, been seeing the past year. So literally, is uh, music everywhere. Uh, that's the mission of, of uh, Ultimate Music. And as you mentioned, I think 
uh, Jili Group, all right, Mr. Lee, uh, representing by, uh, represented by Mr. Lee, is uh, in the connected cars industry. All right, as actually, Jili has made great efforts in the field of new energy, intelligent driving, and interconnection in recent years. So I must say that they have made remarkable achievements both at home and abroad. All right. So, uh, you know, Geely's understanding of the user experience is, is very forward-looking uh, and has very strict criteria in the choice of partners that they work with. All right. So, next, I would like to invite Mr. Lee uh, to share with us, um, you know, the, uh, the, the talk about also the Geely's uh, thinking and experience on car networking, user experience, content and services, and also, you know, working with Ultimate Music, you know, in terms of your views with us. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, music is everywhere, and uh, of course, in cars. Uh, in our connectivity, car, connectivity cars, uh, all of the Geely, uh, we, we usually get three functions, uh, uh, top three functions. First is listening, second is traveling, third is speaking. Uh, listening is uh, the most of the uh, hobby of the, our customers. And uh, in Jili Connective Cars, you can say a wake up word, uh, just maybe high protein. And you can name the another which one you like the name, uh, high protein. And then you can say, uh, play a music, maybe named Hotel California. And then you are driving and the music is playing. And uh, all of the cars uh, of, uh, of Geely can use this function. And the music all come from the ultimate music. Um, and our and, uh, EKX have another uh, very, very important uh, uh, works to do. And we launched in March this year. It's an OS operator system named GKUI from Geely and from EKX. Uh, we launched all of the apps uh, uh, just like the music and the navigation and the uh, voice recognition and uh, all of the apps just like the mobile phone. We want to supply the experiences to the customers like the mobile phone. And, uh, and now we, uh, we, are the, we have the cooperator named Automate Music and uh, they are very uh, professional in music operating. Uh, Geely and EKX will supply the hardware, supply the terminal uh, to the customer, and the software and the operating all from the automated uh, music. Um, in future, and now uh, this year, end of this year, we will launch the new car in Malaysia and the overseas and the global market. Uh, we will, it's named the Proton X70. Uh, we also launched the music. Uh, we also have uh, the same corporate, cooperator, automator music uh, in Malaysia and in uh, East Asia. Uh, they are operator of the, our uh, the platform of the music, and uh, we also uh, we also supply the the voice control and the voice recognition in music. Um, Next year, we will go to Indonesia and uh, we will go to Thailand. And uh, maybe in the end of next year, we will go to the, 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 the India and the, uh, the West Europe or Eastern Europe. Uh, we want to give, the, give the, uh, the customer the experiences more than the, uh, it's better than the mobile phone maybe in future, yes. Yeah. I think music in cars uh, is a hygiene, all right? So you, you know, just imagine if you're stuck in a traffic jam, all right? And of course, the, the, time, um, the amount of time you spend in the car is, 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 is quite a lot. And, and you know, he, listening to music is, is actually a hygiene factor. So can I um, just share a, a little stats here? So based on our cooperation with Geely in China, we are um, we're, we're seeing a, a very uh, special trend in terms of how people interact with, um, with the music system. As Mr. Lee said, there's a lot of voice control, a lot of voice um, request. Um, and um, and the, 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 um, I think we're seeing a stats, um, music listening is about um, more than 80% of what users do it's in the car. Um, and then they also listen to some um, 
kind of um, audio contents, which is something that we will also be um, um, be working with Geely and, and other connected devices um, like uh, audio books, um, like you know, kids' stories. Uh, sometimes kids in the car uh, gets noisy, and so you know, telling some stories from the uh, from the back end. So our 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 uh, one of our development from last year is also upping our um, content offering from only music to audio contents as well. And that's also very important for, um, for, for the in-car as well as IoT environments as well. As, as well. And um, GD as the single largest shareholder of Mercedes um, um, Benz Group, uh, as the whole shareholder, uh, whole owner of Volvo, as well as um, you know, a Proton in, in Malaysia and, and multiple brands in China. Um, we're very excited to work with them, and, uh, and uh, hope and that the we can, our cooperation can go <laughs> around the world as well. Yes, and with Damir as well, right? Damir yes. Lance. Okay. Now, now let's uh, switch gears and and move into smart speakers and IoT. All right. Um, you know, how do we actually make music to be continuously uninterrupted when we switch between devices? All right. So Lenovo provided us with the answer uh, during the CES Asia show in June. Uh, to help this year in June, uh, and, and they, they launched the Xiangting uh, music streaming services, all right, uh, with abundance of music tracks together with their sleek and high performance uh, smart speakers. Uh, as one of the important driving force behind the new eco intelligent hardware, uh, we have the pleasure today uh, of uh, having Justin uh, participate in this discussion panel with us today. Uh, I would like to invite Justin uh, to share his views uh, with us. Okay, thank you. I do some homework. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as a traditional hardware manufacturer, Lenovo Group has set up a special audio service department based uh, on the transformation of Device Plus through the creation of Listen, the audio content service platform a comprehensive collection of music, uh, audio novel, information, education, children, and uh, the other content. Special cooperation, Artemert Music, with you. Uh, uh, we will, uh, we provide users with a more comprehensive and professional music services. It's very important. And Lenovo has a deep technical strength and uh, hardware manufacturing experience using a variety of devices to do content services. Smart speaker is, a, is an important device end. In addition to PC, TV, template, mobile phone, and more devices in the future, it is the key and the corn of Lenovo audio service to open these devices and provide users with more cross-device and cross-scene audio services, and it's our future. Uh, over the past year or so, thanks to the promotion of AI technology, companies from different fields have launched their own smart speakers, one after another based on their respective resources advantages. Uh, shipments of smart speakers are expected to reach 100 million by 2080. It's a very huge uh, yes. number. Yes, yeah, and Amazon and uh, Google will have 50% and 30% of the market respectively. And 10% of the Chinese market is expected to grow rapidly with huge potential. Uh, with about 450 million households in China, China has a natural advantage in the global battle for market share in smart speakers, which are expected to number close to 11 million in 2080. Uh, it's a very good experience for using to listen to music with smart speakers uh, because they can find their favorite music directly by voice without uh, the operation of mobile phones. It's very simple. Uh, according to the data, using of smart speakers are in use. More than 17% of users use the music services. 
And uh, Atomert Music is the leading music service partner in China in terms of music copyright resources and the music library operation and the management. And in, in particular, uh, it has the same vision and the pursuit as Lenovo in the innovation of service provided by music service, music users. So we attach great importance to our cooperation and are confident that we can create a whole new experience for users using music across devices. Thank you, thank you, Justin. Uh, Lenovo is uh, definitely being one of the world's largest PC manufacturer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the pioneer of uh, Chinese enterprise driving towards globalization. Uh, and we are honored to have the opportunity to, to, to work with you, all right, um, and, and in driving towards our mission in making music everywhere. Yes. All right. Lenovo is the largest PC manufacturer it in is. the world. It Not is. Not one of them. <laughs> it, it is the largest yes. in the yes. world. So. And we are looking forward to bringing this beyond China. Yeah. All right. Um, of, of course, with all this discussion we have had, uh, we would like to be, we will not be able to proceed without the support of content owners. And, uh, you know, and the music labels have has been facing several disruptions over the past decade. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, an, there's a need to adapt to all these changes. And with us here today is Dr. Asugan, uh, who is a veteran in, in the music industry, to share with us his, his views as well. So, doc, Dr. Asugan, can you share with us uh, the major changes in the music industry from the perspective of a music content provider? And also, how do you actually embrace and, and support these changes? Uh, thank you, Winston. Uh, as everyone in the hall today, everyone we are aware that we are, everything is digital today. So we are all moving towards digital. And with the advancement of the technologies today, the growth is so rapid. Okay? So we have very good high-speed internet. We have a high-tech smartphones, okay? connected devices, uh, smart speakers now uh, smart wearables and now connected cars. So these are all uh, some positive uh, changes uh, that we need to welcome and we need to adapt to it. So um, it's good. Um, basically, this advancement of technologies uh, makes the contents uh, like music or even films or anything is easily accessible in interactively and it's presented in style, uh, and it makes end of the day easy access uh, anywhere, on uh, any time, and on any device, as mentioned by Winston and uh, Mr. TC Pan just now. So it's good, and uh, it makes user uh, v accessible to this content uh, very mobile and uh, handy at all time. They're accessible to anything they want. So it's positive changes. Okay, right. so, but however, uh, on a point of uh, content providers, we also need to welcome this because, like example, music distribution or content distribution, it become more easier with the availability of the technologies. Okay, so no more the physical works is involving because physical is declined. So the technology helps us to ingest contents very easily across the globe with one click, okay? So that is very good, and it reduces more manpower, okay? So cost is being reduced. But however, there are also some uh, setbacks we are trying to embrace as a content providers where the revenue segment, okay? So since now the revenue come from digital is purely by streams, so the revenue is uh, relatively very lower uh, by in terms of per view rate and so on. So, but however, uh, we can't run away from the trend changes. We have to adapt to it. But however, it, uh, how to balance it up? So basically, in, uh, for the digital business, so our digital marketing is very much important and plays a crucial role for us to get a better revenue. So therefore, we uh, effective, strategized uh, digital marketing. I think all contents, can get a decent revenues. Right. So with all these changes, of course, comes along uh, abundance of uh, opportunities. So what are some of the opportunities that you see uh, as a, a, a music content provider? Yeah, we, if we look at the past few years to now, okay, so 
digital was growing, I think, from probably 2003-2004 onwards. But now we, uh, we are at uh, 2018. And uh, uh, then and now, we now have connected cars, devices, and um, it shows that the digital growth is very rapid and um, is more benefiting the end consumers. So it makes the uh, end consumer easily accessible to the contents. So these are the opportunity for the consumers. And then uh, as a content provider, we see that uh, with these available technologies, uh, new technologies is coming up and more new players platforms is growing so we got new uh, players uh, new partners to work with so industry is growing so we need to welcome new players and uh, we are really proud to work with uh, Tencent's ultimate music which comes with a new innovative uh, idea with a connected cars and we are really excited to look forward to work with them all right um, so what do you see as key critical factors to offering a successful and sustainable uh, music service? As you know, you know, there's a lot of service, music service providers that come and go, but from a perspective of a music content provider or, or license, uh, wh what do you see as key critical factors? Okay, uh, basically all business, we are facing challenges, but uh, in order to sustain in market, because we see a lot of players come and go, it's true, because uh, in the last three to four, four years, we are seeing many players are disappeared in the digital platforms. But end of the day, as I believe that uh, each content owners, they are good at their own content. They know the, their strength. But uh, probably the collaboration between both parties, uh, I mean the content on providers, as well as the digital platform people, the collaboration in terms for the digital marketing, right. how they can uh, reach the end consumer effectively, and then uh, to, uh, what to say, exploit the content more in a reachable, in a wider market. So I think collaboration. So collaboration between the both parties, because each party has their own expertise in the industry. So if they share it and communicate frequently, it may help. But sometimes uh, these both parties, when they don't communicate and share ideas often, sometimes these failures happen. It obviously we can see it in the revenues. But those people, uh, these two parties having a good communication in terms of the strategies, what the upcoming products, so how shall we bring it to market. So end of the day, the reach that we see in the revenue is really uh, good. Okay. Mm. Okay. I mean, as we move into the digital uh, space, um, you know, please share with us any innovative uh, monetization models so as to capitalize on on this new market uh, moving forward. Uh, basically, at the moment, we are commonly used to the paid, uh, paid and uh, ad-supported uh, models. But however, uh, in order to enhance or in order to convert the, uh, the free tier users towards the paid platform, or we need to maybe probably uh, package the premium models in a more in, uh, very uh, attractively to reach the end consumer. For instance, uh, uh, what uh, we can do, if I, I'll take some ideas from the gaming industry. Okay, so you see in game, gaming segment, usually they have uh, features like a vanity or reputation, so where those people are opt, uh, paid extra for these features, okay, or they're buying this, they get additional value <coughs> added services for the gaming segment. So maybe we can try to uh, use this concept in the music features, uh, or the, uh, I mean the content uh, features. Example, uh, those people are opting for these additional features. We can offer them, okay, you are extra premium, probably premium plus, okay? You get some contents which is exclusive. You won't get anywhere else. Uh, example, uh, let's say it's concert, the behind the stage programs, okay? So which is not accessible in any digital platforms, but we are giving it exclusively for these premium plus people. Probably we can, uh, in order to enhance the monitoring, we can bring it to other digital blog, probably after some time. So these people get early access to this exclusive uh, is, uh, contents. Or, or we can also provide an opportunity, uh, like artists' uh, exclusive interaction with the fans, which is only available to this uh, value-added services in this kind of vanity or repetition packaging, special packaging. Sure. So I believe that a premium service in a 
various uh, packaging, but attractively, it may work. But however, end of the day, it's how it's marketed, how it's been promoted to reach the audience. Because no point we're having it, but nobody knows about it. Yes. Okay, sometimes the reach to the end users is very important, and it must be well strategically and effectively uh, promoted. Yeah. So this is how we bridge between you know, the content owners as well as the channel owners, yeah. in terms of how we can collaborate and enhance our collaboration. Yeah, probably we can also try the pay-per-view, uh, pay-per-use concept or right. pay-what-you-want concept. We can try to explore, but uh, of course, it all depends on how it's packaged to the end consumer. Sure. So can I jump in here? Um, I think coming back to the point of um, innovative business model, um, um, when I was first on the stage of Music Matters um, back in Hong Kong, um, we, I was representing Nokia, and back then we were talking about the concept of comes to music, okay? And comes to music means that when you purchase the device, the music service is within the device already. It is an innovative um, business model that created by Nokia back then. And right now, what we are doing uh, in Tencent Music Entertainment Group is to further enhance that, that, that start to, 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 um, to more devices. Uh, so in a sense, I think the, the, the key is that we need to make sure that the music is available in that device at the get-go already. Then we can explore different type of um, business opportunities, whether it's a per stream model, per download model, or, 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 or advertisement um, supported model okay so so or even coming back to the um, to the original um, model is that the device manufacturer might just um, cover the cost for the um, for the user uh, at the beginning or maybe not covering for the for the user but like for example if a, 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 a customer goes into um, a protons um, um, sh um, sales point and, and uh, Proton has multiple different uh, packages for X70. And one of the packages is that, okay, I can uh, uh, you know, purchase a lifetime connected music experience, right? And uh, with extra how much money. But when you, ver when you compare that price with the car, it's like nothing. Sure. And then a lot of users at that point of time is like, okay, fine, you know, I just add on another 100 US dollars or whatever money just to get that whole package so that I don't have to worry about you know, um, you know, my music experience or, or audio content experience going forward. Or maybe um, the dealer would say, okay, in order to sell this car to the, to the, uh, to the customer, they might want to you know, take a, a portion of their profit and subsidize for the user. Right? So, so that's why um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that Nokia started that comes to music concept. And you know, by leaving Nokia and starting Ultimate Music, and now um, you know joining T TME, we are able to enhance that idea uh, even further, and to make sure that music is everywhere in all devices. And then, with that basis, we can discuss about different business model, so that users have, uh, customers have the options of choosing what kind of business model they want to go after. Right. So. So I think that's a, that's a very important uh, key because you know any app will require a user to go and download. Sometimes you know back in the days, some device manufacturers preload a music app in the device. But with laws and regulations in, the, in in various countries, you know these kind of preloading is no longer allowed, or the user often just deletes these preload um, apps. But with a a native uh, music experience, that's in the system that is, um, you know, melted into the overall experience of the device, you know, is something that user would not want to delete, delete and 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 kind of let go. So with that and that, with that being enabled, then we can talk about more business opportunities. And I think these business models that I mentioned earlier are the uh, directions that we're definitely um, exploring right now. Right, right. So I think we have had great uh, information shared by you know our content owners and, and channel owners. Uh, I think in, in, indeed in China, we have made great uh, achievements uh, towards our mission in creating music everywhere. Uh, however, the bug doesn't, doesn't stop there. So riding on the success uh, of our Ting Cloud in China, all right, so all these are happening in China. Uh, you know, we have started our journey 
uh, to venture overseas, which is beyond China as well. All right. So when we talk about beyond China, of course, you know, when we start to do our deployment strategy, we look at two things. How do we do it and where do we, where do we expand? All right. So with regards to the question on where, so what we did is that uh, we looked at a couple of things. Uh, we did a very in-depth market feasibility study uh, to see you know, which region or which countries we should be expanding into. Um, we have also you know, engaged very deeply uh, with our partners, our business partners, in terms of where they would like to expand the, the, the business to. All right. So as you know, a lot of China brands uh, you know, like you know, Geely, like Lenovo, like Huawei and Xiaomi, they are doing very well in China, but as well, they are also doing a lot of business outside of China, all right? And we would basically like to also launch uh, the similar Ting Cloud service, offer the Ting Cloud service uh, to these partners as well. Um, how do we do it? Because Southeast Asia is basically uh, one of the regions that we have prioritized. Uh, but Southeast Asia uh, does pose its uh, challenges as well because Southeast Asia is extremely fragmented with uh, you know, its, its, its own uniqueness and, and culture. Uh, and we cannot adopt a one-size-fit-all uh, strategy. So to be successful, uh, we definitely need to go local. Going local in terms of uh, content, uh, that's the reason why we are engaging with uh, One Stop, we are engaging with, with, uh, in Thailand with Grammys and so on and so forth. Uh, we're looking at localizing the overall content operations where you talk about curated playlists and, and doing all the content ops, you need to localize that as well. Uh, as well as the third thing to, in terms of localization uh, is the monetization channels. Uh, as well as, for example, you know, in China you have WeChat Pay, you know, but out of this world, uh, out of China, uh, you know, WeChat Pay is, is, is not you know, available that, that, that fast. So again, we need to look at you know, the localization three times, all right, in terms of uh, content, in terms of operations, uh, as well as uh, you know, the monetization. Okay? So uh, there you have it. Uh, I hope you have, uh, we have provided you with an overview in terms of how we are bringing music everywhere, not only in China, but also out of China. Uh, there's a lot of talks about you know, going, doing business inside of China. Uh, you know, we have actually started China and we are now getting out. All right, so it, it is actually enhancing. So from handset devices to smart speakers, uh, you know, to, to, to connected cars, uh, you, know, we are, we, we, you know, we are moving forward a lot of projects with, with Gili as well, where users can, will be able to enjoy uh, music at, at ease. Um, so we will need to continue establishing and enhancing collaborations uh, with strategic partners to globalize uh, the Team Cloud platform that Ultimate has, has created and built. So we have come to the end of this panel discussion. Uh, special thanks to our, our guest panelists, uh, as well as to all of you for your time and support. Have a great day ahead. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.